Tennessee on 8. We first told you Breezy Barr's story back in February, and tonight her family telling Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson about her final few days. Mackenzie? Yeah, Rod, it's something no parent wants to face, the death of a child. Breezy was battling a congenital heart defect for her whole life, and eventually it put too much stress on her body. Then everything was fine. Until Sunday, she started declining, and at 6.45, I had to do CPR on her while on the phone with dispatch until EMTs arrived. Breezy Barr Johnson was nine months and one day old when she died from a congenital heart disease on Monday. Doctors diagnosed her with TAP-VR, which means her veins weren't connecting properly to carry oxygenated blood from her lungs to her heart. Breezy had multiple open heart surgeries and spent a lot of her short life in Children's Nebraska Hospital in Omaha. But this past Sunday, her heart stopped. She was flown to Omaha with doctors performing CPR multiple times over the course of 24 hours. Then at 7.05, they decided to stop doing CPR and that's when she passed. Breezy's mother, JC, says this has been devastating for their family. It's heartbreaking and rough, um, but we pushed through for her. She pushed, she fought her hardest and you could tell that she was just not ready to give up, but her body, her body was just done. It couldn't fight anymore. JC wants to raise awareness about congenital heart diseases, which affect one in every 100 babies born in the U.S. I had no idea about CHD until I had her. Just because a baby has a CHD doesn't make them any more different than a regular baby. They may struggle, but they will fight. Breezy was a fighter, but that's just one thing her mom will miss about her. She says Breezy has changed her life for the better. She actually brought the light to everybody's lives the past nine months. Her smile, her giggling. If you were having a bad day, if you just look at her, she would just make you happy. Now, JC says their family will keep Breezy's memory alive by continuing to spread the word about congenital heart disease. The family has a Facebook page that shares more about Breezy's journey. You can find a link to it on our website at klkntv.com. And we appreciate them sharing their story with us.